Right, okay, so I'm gonna go over a few ways where you can leverage ChatGPT to better your technical SEO strategy. So let me just get straight into it while and fast while ChatGPT is still free for some of us. Okay, so let me, let, let's uh, say that I wanna rank vetted.com for best, or not best, let's do um, vetted SEO experts. So let's do, hey, because we gotta treat the AI right, otherwise when they, uh, finally can think on themselves, they might come after us, so let's be polite. Hey, I own this site called Vetted, and we are a platform where you can hire pre-vetted SEO experts. I want to rank on Google for uh, SEO experts, uh, SEO experts, pre-vetted with two T's, right? Because it's a non-branded term because our brand is vetted with three T's and we don't want to tackle the brand name on here. We want to tackle a specific keyword, right? Because people will write with two T's, at least for now. Services or let's do and hire vetted SEO expert, okay? Come up with, uh, let's do four meta titles and meta descriptions that are SEO optimized for these keywords. And I cannot write, but he'll get what I'm saying. Um, okay, let's just wait a bit for him to think. And uh, okay, so we're essentially back. I didn't even, I didn't even have to cut the video. And um, while he does this, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna use this plugin. Um, if you don't know, this is a free plugin. I'll leave it in the description. And our current title is Higher Vetted SEO Expert. So we put the non branded term here for Higher Vetted and Vetted SEO Experts. And we put after that the branded term. And for the meta description, we put again the non branded term, a vetted and verified experience. And verified is essentially another way of saying vetted because we want to. We don't we want to we don't want to repeat ourselves essentially right a verified a vetted and verified experience to scale your SEO strategy hire again SEO experts again um, to take your online marketing to the next level okay so we're sprinkling here sprinkling in here some keywords let's see what uh, ChatGPT gives us so for a meta title SEO expert for hire vetted and pre screen professionals so I'm gonna just zoom in here really, really quickly as you can see and these are already very well SEO optimized for what we want to do. But as you can see here, ChatGPT is also giving a, it's essentially, essentially it's confirming that what we did here is very well done. Because if you take a look at here, oh, if you take a look, them, this had to happen. So it looks like they're not really cooper cooperating with us, but again, they are giving us another answer right here. So what I want to say is that essentially for the meta title, at least for this first one, you can see here that they're essentially giving us the same sort of vibe that we did right here. So let me just paste this in here. So on our, we have the word hire vetted with two T's. They have with two T's here, uh, they have hire as well. Uh, they have trusted professionals. We had uh, experts, right? Similar words, they mean the same thing. Um, and uh, they included the pre vetted here. Let's do this one. Expert SEO service, so they include the word experts. It's like we did include the word experts. Pre vetted and they did reliable. We did, um, if we look at here, I mean, yeah, I guess we can keep on going. Um, again, these are all very similar, right? They're, they're essentially saying the same thing over and over again, which we, including the same keywords that we're trying to include, that we're trying to target for experts, hire, vetted experts, pre-screened, verified, all that. They're including in them all in all these titles. So ChatGPT is a good way not only to get gather ideas from, but to sort of verify if what you're doing uh, is in line what, with what the AI thinks. Of course, you don't want to always follow the AI, but it's a great, it is, it can be a great guideline. Let me just paste in here the meta description. Just paste it in here really quickly. Uh, let's look at the first one. Find and hire pre-vetted SEO experts on Vetted. Again, this is a, a bit of a mistake because this one should be branded because on Vetted, it is the site with three T's unless I got it wrong up here. Uh, no, I got it right. So this should be with three T's. Again, that's why you cannot just solely rely on, on the AI. Our platform connects you with trusted and experienced professionals for all your SEO needs. Okay, trusted and experience is essentially the same the thing that we're saying here. Verified experience, uh, pre-vetted, right? Um, 
that's again, let's take a look at the second one. Get expert SEO services in pre-vetted and reliable unvetted, reliable, we did verified, um, trusted professionals, SEO needs. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see here. All platform connections professionals. They use keyword professionals. Uh, we use experts here. We use um, yeah, we just use experts to be honest. Um, on, again, this should be a branded branded term right here, and they use a lot of the uh, uh, connect because I, I think because I mentioned platform, they, w they wanted to use the word connect, which makes sense. Uh, again, reliable. So this is a, a quick and easy way to come up with uh, meta titles and meta descriptions that are optimized for the keywords you want to rank for, uh, which is pretty insane and, and pretty pretty valuable. Um, so it's cool to see that the the ones that we came up with based on our human research. Are similar to the ones that the AI came up, came up comes up with. We do, of course, if we just want to use AI for this, we have to remind ourselves that uh, they're not perfect. For example, here we wanted branded terms. No, not here. Uh, here we wanted a branded term, and they got us a non-branded one. Uh, but our brand name is kind of tricky, so I, I do understand uh, why maybe he he or she is a bit confused. Now, the second thing I want to go over uh, our open graph image. So, if you don't know, when you share a link on social media there are some images that pop up so for example if i hover over this one right here as you can see down in the right hand corner if we post vetted's link on facebook twitter linkedin whatever that is this preview pop-up will appear with this image and this uh, first of all this plugin is a great way to check these really quickly but secondly do we really think that this is the best image we can provide a users on social media let's for example ask ChatGPT for this uh, so um, what would be a great, let's see if it understands, open graph image for a site like Vetted. I'm gonna, I know he has the context from before, but I'm going to give him even further context. Vetted is a platform where you can hire pre-vetted SEO experts for all your SEO efforts. <clears throat> you can hire them for their time via platform i'm going to give him a lot of context integrated consulting calls and their skills via productized of course he's not going to give me an image but he's going to give me a detail of what an image could look like right so let's see what he gathers here for us a way of him is going to be a professional headshot of an actual expert of course this makes perfect sense having face to the brand or even use some of the people on the brand for example liam right here bradley tony hillary we could use some of the faces from the brand which would make a lot of sense right um, and then with a tagline such as trusted SEO experts at your fingertips and as you can see here they make it they make this sound the uh, good make it sound social media friendly short and sweet markety uh, style expert SEO services be better and reliable the image should be visually appealing and convey a sense of professionalism of course and trustworthiness and they're saying this because it's based on the info I gave them, gave them before, pre-vetted uh, experts. You can also include a screenshot of a platform or a productized service offered by an expert. The image should also be optimized for social media sharing, of course, at least 1200 by 630 pixels. This is, of course, valuable information if you're not aware. So then you can, of course, plug this into Mid Journey, for example, and they'll give you out uh, an image. Uh, they don't work very good with text and all that, but you could test it out. So it's quite powerful. Now, I'm going to go over here our blog section, not blog section, our essential um, case study section, which essentially is a place where we share uh, SEO case studies from vetted users or vetted experts and well-known brands. And I'm going to take a look at here at the uh, meta title and meta description, which really aren't that optimized. They are just uh, here thrown here together. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT again what would be a good fit for this. So I have this page on the site where we post long form blogs about SEO case studies. I want to rank it for SEO case studies, which is a very, very competitive keyword. What would be a great SEO optimized meta title and description? Give me three options. Okay, missed the NAS over there. So in-depth case studies, Learn from real-world experience on that ex examples on that. This one is actually quite great, not just because of it being SEO optimized, but because it does grab my attention. With this divider here, learn from real-world examples on Veta. This is 
it's quite a, I might just use this, to be honest with you. This is quite an attention-grabbing uh, a, a meta title. So might as well just uh, paste this in here and uh, save it for later, because I, I do think I do want to use that one. And let's see here the meta description. Explore in-depth SEO case studies, so our keyword here on Veta, this should be branded, of course. Run from real or example of SEO strategies. And SEO strategies, uh, I, do, I haven't gotten into this, but it is an NLP keyword for... Um, uh, for uh, and SEO strategies, it is a similar keyword for the SEO case studies, so it is something that we can target as well. Uh, and tactics, so I, I do like that it included strategies, tactics, and case studies. So these are, these are all very similar keywords uh, that we can target uh, in just, just this page. Sorry to interrupt, but I might as well include this right here. The meta description I had set for the case studies page was this one. And this one is the one that ChatGPT generated. As you can see, they are quite similar, and he had no idea that I had written this one. But uh, his, or theirs, whatever, is firstly, the English is much better, much better than mine, and uh, it's much more sharp, right? I had explore SEO case studies from brands you know and from Vettas pool of talent SEO experts. He had explore in depth SEO case studies on Vettas. Much shorter sentence, much easier to read, and like this super long one. Then he has learn from real world examples, I really like this one, of successful SEO strategies, again, SEO strategies and tactics, another way of saying case studies to some extent, used by experts, including here the keyword experts, which is the way we're positioning vetted as, which is for pre-vetted SEO experts. So yeah, it's quite interesting, and just gonna let you know that I'm gonna use this one, I'm gonna just do some tweaks to this. Yeah, back to back to the video. Um, this one is quite good as well. So yeah, I don't wanna bore you with this, but uh, essentially this is what we're doing uh, for, not for vet, I mean, yeah, for vetted to some extent, we're basing some of our info on here, not all of course, we do our own human research. We just use these tools to help us out and to verify, not to verify, but to see based on our inputs, what does ChatGPT have to say. And it's been it's been quite interesting and quite insightful to be honest with you. And uh, I do recommend you, you use it uh, while it's free. Uh, in my last video, I did recommend two plugins uh, for ChatGPT, which are not appearing, appearing here right now. I'm not sure why. Let me try and open a new chat. Yeah, it's this one right here. Uh, again, I can, it's, yeah, it's called AI, PRM, uh, ChatGPT prompts for SEO. And it gives you essentially, you can do keyword uh, research here. You can create articles based on your competition, based on actual URL you insert here that essentially ChatGPT will output an article that will outrank your competitors in theory. You can do a bunch of stuff, add link to articles so you'll find the best place to add a link to an article. It's very, very powerful. And the other one is one that connects ChatGPT to the web because as you know, or as you might not know, uh, ChatGPT only gathered, gathered info from online since 2021. So this allows you to gather info from today, right? So it's quite, quite powerful. Yeah, just rambling. Hopefully this was valuable. Uh, hopefully you could take some insights from this one. I know I did. Uh, let me know if you like more of these ChatGPT uh, tutorial type videos and I'll keep on doing them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out Vettel if you need any SEO, uh, professional SEO services. And yeah, that's it. Cheers.